Have a look at the, yellow circled, benchmark in the photo above versus my old SATA SSD below it, NVMe M2 rocks. And the price is excellent for 500 GB. I remember not too long ago I was paying more than this for my SATA drives at 256 GB. Crazy. Worked flawlessly on my Gigabyte X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. My computer boots up in 23 seconds. I am a big Samsung fan, and Samsung is dominating the SSD industry in speed and reliability. I replaced my HDD in my desktop with this SSD from Samsung and I don't regret it at all. It is super fast compared to my old drive. Windows and games load faster, but the biggest speed increase for me was with MS Office. Basically Word and PowerPoint fly open. Installing it to the motherboard was easy. Samsung's data migration software made cloning the HDD to the SSD a snap. I kept the HDD and will use it for storage. I installed the SSD on a MSI Z370 Gaming Plus motherboard, it had the screw. I did a little homework before I ordered the SSD, which made the install really easy. Just find out what settings in the BIOS need to change or if the SATA cable needs to be moved to another SATA port. By the way, the screw to secure the SSD is really small, and can be difficult to apply if there is not enough room. I placed a small piece of tape on the screw head and screwed it in using the tape like a screwdriver. Worked like a charm. The NVMe used the special, internal port to offer you a notifiable performance boost over a normal SATA drive. Using the Samsung Magician software, I am seeing the advertised sequential read and write benchmark, but random IOPS is approximately half. Compared to the Samsung SATA drive, over 6x for sequential read and write, 3.5x for random IOPS. I ordered a Samsung 970 EVO 500GB, NVMe PCIe M2 from Amazon and received it Saturday. This morning I installed the Samsung SSD in a new HP i58400, 16 MB RAM, RX 552MB video card. I then cloned the HDD using Samsung's migration tool. The existing HDD had one partition separating the OS and data, C, from the recovery, D. I made sure to also copy the partition section, D, to the new SSD. After the cloning was complete and the computer shut down, I disconnected the old HDD but left it in the case. I turned it back on and it booted up immediately. Incredibly fast 15 seconds to the log on page versus about a minute with the original HDD. I did not have to go into BIOS or change the boot order. Since I had disconnected the HDD, it recognized the new partitioned SSD and fired right up. I then used Minitool Partition Wizard to resize the, the new partition on the SSD. It is now incredibly fast and silent. I love it already. Here are the before and after performance benchmarks I recorded. I love it. My computer is so much faster. I was having problems with ZBrush and Maya and with this SSD all the problems was solved. I have a Gigabyte Z170MX Gaming 5 and it's compatible. Very easy to install. Great SSD. I had to upgrade to this one after my 960 started acting wonky. Maybe it wasn't the 960, I don't know for sure, but getting randomly blue screened is not my idea of fun. Anyway, for $87 I couldn't pass up the latest iteration. Computer boots up amazingly fast. Login screen pop-ups within milliseconds of boot. Great read, write speeds as well. If you game though, get a normal hard drive as your secondary and install and run your games from that instead of the SSD. Limit your SSD to mainly to your system setup and normal applications. I feel this will greatly help prolong the lifespan of your SSD. If your computer supports M.2 SSDs, I can't encourage you enough to consider upgrading to this as your main system drive. Click link in description for more reviews.